Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Coming to you from the Endless Mountains today. This is Fish Camp. So you can see I have my Alaskan Guide tent set up. Memorial Day weekend. The weather was brutal yesterday. Uh, 35 mile an hour winds and the day before it was wind and rain. Today the winds have died down to about 20 or 25 miles an hour so they're not as bad. But um, it, the temperature dropped last night to 36 and tonight's expected to go down to about 39. So I wanted to give you a, bring to you a quick review on my uh, fish camp that I have set up out here. And what you're looking at is the Alaskan Guide tent. This is the eight person model with the aluminum poles. It is 31 pounds, 14 kilograms. So this sucker's heavy. This is for car camping, base camp, uh, but you're not putting this in a backpack, that's for sure. The dimensions on it is 12 feet by 13 feet. And the height inside is 6 feet 8 inches or 203 centimeters. So you could stand up, uh, an average adult or even someone at 6 foot 6 could stand up in there. It will pack down to about 30 inches by 14 inches and it does come with its, with its own bag. So you can get it relatively uh, small to fit into uh, the trunk of a car in a pickup truck perhaps in the uh, in the crew cab area it will fit in there rather well but let me uh, let me take this thing off the um, let me take this camera off the tripod and then I'll, I'll take you inside and give you a close-up how I have it outfitted it's just me tonight gonna be sleeping in here everyone else chickened out but uh, I wanted to take some time out of the day just to give you a quick review Now this one here has three windows including the doorway and it actually has two doorways so one window doubles as a doorway in the back and I'll have to lock that cooler tonight obviously I'll put a padlock on there I don't want any critters getting into uh, my cooler but this one back here is actually the uh, the window that doubles as a door so you do have another way out if you had to get out of the tent let me just show you guys this little stove that I have set up here this is a little stove tech doesn't use a lot of wood something I've been trying out so we'll see if it can fry fish but uh, it's a neat little stove really really heavy for base camp only but with that amount of wood right there you can cook your meal it really doesn't use a lot of wood one of the things I like about the tent is that the fly comes all the way to the ground and you don't have to worry about any other rain getting in. Now the floor is uh, 3,000 millimeters and the waterproof sealant on the rain fly is 2,000. It does have a bathtub design on the floor to keep water from coming in the sides. And actually, let me just show you the sack that it comes with. That's the storage bag. It does come with the unit. And everything fits in there. The poles. I even have extra stuff. I have a floor saver that goes in there. I have a tarp that's underneath it. As you can see, a little bit of the brown showing out. To protect the underside. And I have a hammer in there. And some extra stakes as well. So this is the vestibule. It does close completely. You can zip it down. It becomes uh, really inclement. I just keep a little chair in there to sit with. You can get change in there. Leave some of your clothes in there. And this is the other window. So this one here is just a window. This one doesn't open, but it's rather large. It does have a little opening there if you wanted to pass some small items. Anyway, let's go inside. I'll show you how I have it outfitted. It's just a very basic setup. Gonna break camp tomorrow, so 
don't really have a lot of stuff in it. Does have YKK zippers, number 10s and number 8s. They don't stick. They open very smoothly, no issues there. You can see there's a slight separation there between the fly and the internal portion, which is nice for added ventilation. And here's a shot of the inside. I have one caught. In the back there you could see there's panels. You could use them for storage. There's also panels on this side, as you can see. Some additional storage. And of course there's panels on this side as well for more storage. These bottle holders, you get four of them with this unit. So you have one in each corner. There's one way back there. There's another one over there. I just have a lightning cot set up in here with some uh, personal items underneath. Alaskan Guide Pad. North Face Bag I'll be using tonight. Should be fine. I do have a liner if I need it. And an REI pillow. Does have a little loft up top. I keep a lantern. You could store some personal items in there. And what I like is it has one, two, and three vents in the roof for added ventilation. It's nice in the summer. It does get pretty hot in here in the summer, but in the winter, this helps. These vents will actually help with condensation. Now, if you notice, I also have a floor down in here. This is uh, called a floor saver. And that's an optional item. And it just helps with clean up and wear and tear. I always keep a first aid kit around, especially when I'm out fishing. This is pretty remote out here. And if you get banged up, you got a little bit of a drive either you have to go up to New York State or you're going to take care of yourself. This is the window from the inside. And this is the one that doubles as another door. Now some of the cons with this tent is obviously it's heavy. Uh, it's a bit on the pricey side, that's for sure. This is not an inexpensive tent. And the other con is it requires two people to set up. It takes about 30 minutes to set up. Maybe another 10 minutes to refine it. But this is not a one person job. And some of the pros are it's, it's, it's sturdy. It's going to hold up to rain, snow, sleet, the elements. It'll probably handle 50 mile an hour winds. And it's four season of course. So you could use it year round. Now in the summer you do need to open up all three windows to get across ventilation because it does get a little bit hot in here. And I, I would recommend that you not set it up in direct sunlight. It does have a UV protection on the fly but it does get warm in here. And you can see the bathtub design as you go around. So if, if water were to make it in from the sides, those walls would stop it. And as you can see, those seams, let me see if I can give you a shot of that seam there. As you can see, those are all taped all the way around there like this. So I'm going to close this up. Take 
take you around one more time give you a nice shot of it and again this is for base camp perhaps on a boat you could use it uh, on a drag sled on the back of a snowmobile a horseback trip car camping that's a perfect application for it but it would obviously be uh, this is not something you're going to be putting in a pack and uh, taking it into the back country way way too heavy but it is very comfortable you get three adults in there with three cots or four adults with no cots I know it says a person online when you look at it but that's really not practical that would be eight people in there with everyone laying on the ground touching and you probably wouldn't be too comfortable doing that so what I, I I usually use this with three people and we're very comfortable and keep in mind you're gonna have gear with you too so that takes up space as well especially if uh, it's inclement outside you're gonna bring that gear in to the vestibule area and some of the stuff you're gonna bring inside You could also take it on a bush plane. But in short, it's hardy, it's robust. This thing could take the wind, could take the rain, could take the snow, the sleet. And this is Fish Camp coming to you from the Endless Mountains in Pennsylvania. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy Memorial Day weekend, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.